Adrienne Houghton has recently shown fans her new dream home, this time located in New York. In an episode of All Things Adrienne on her YouTube channel, she gave a tour of the empty residence and claimed she knew it was the spot since she walked in. The traditional mansion boasts a stone front, features like a sweeping staircase and looks fit for a princess. Prior to the East Coast move, Adrian and her family formerly lived in two other luxury homes located in Bel Air and Calabasas, so today we'll be taking a look. In these videos, we don't reveal any addresses, and even though I've done a house tour of my own place, please do not show up at any private residences because it's not safe for anyone. Adrian Houghton is a singer, actress, TV host, and YouTuber who's currently best known for hosting daytime talk show The Real, which she's been doing since 2013. She's also a former Disney Channel star, and you may recognize her from her role as one of the Cheetah Girls back in the day alongside Raven Simone. First, so we can get our shot. He knows the business. I really think we should consider it. It's a job singing, dancing. Adrienne got engaged to her current husband, musician Israel Houghton, back in 2016, and she often documents her home life on her popular YouTube channel, All Things Adrian, where we've also caught peeks at her lavish mansions. Most recently, Adrienne and Israel have said goodbye to the West Coast, moving thousands of miles away to New York, and she even shared some of their house hunting. Considering the couple has an estimated net worth of over $12 million or so, I'm gonna guess they had a big budget. Hey everyone, I'm Kara the Vampire Slayer and I'm bringing you another exclusive house tour here on Famous Entertainment, this one featuring the homes of Adrian Houghton. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe and ring that bell for notifications because we post brand new videos daily. As always, you can follow me on Instagram and let me know whose house tour you wanna see next. Now let's get into this video. Back in 2018, Adrian was living in a residence located in Bel Air, Los Angeles. To give you the VIP tour, we've actually lived here for a little bit over a year, but it still feels... She gave a tour of the classy mansion on her YouTube series, and first thing you see is the fairy tale like entryway with winding staircase and decked out in marble. Adrian nicknamed the home Chateau Houghton for her and her husband Isaiah, and the couple's wedding in France actually inspired the romantic design of the property. Adrian said, I just remember the first time walking in and falling madly in love. I had just gotten married in Paris and it felt very Parisian. So I'd say that the style of the house is Parisian chic. The main floor of the mansion was all about hanging with friends and family. This is our formal living room. I actually love, love, love this particular spot. I wanted it to feel almost like a hotel, like when you walk in and you're like, oh my gosh, it looks so posh. There are a ton of chandeliers here, and the living room has a large, cozy fireplace where Adrian loved to read next to. There was a piano in one corner for Isaiah displaying his Grammy Awards, glass sliders, and windows to let in light and outdoor access, as well as an all-around posh vibe. One of my other favorite parts of the house is the bar. <laughs> I think that we'd love There's also a sprawling bar that's as big as a hotel where Adrian would keep her loved one's favorite bottles. And next to here was a formal dining area with another fireplace. The kitchen was lavish with high ceilings, a large marble island, and tons of storage space. It's also where Adrian said everyone hung out the most, and she stored personalized wine glasses for all her girlfriends here. Moving upstairs via the curved staircase or the convenient elevator, there was Adrian's former master suite which boasted a fireplace, sitting area and a bar. Behind the sitting area, there were also French doors to access a private balcony and views of the grounds. Two of Israel's children, Sonny and Lily, had sweet spaces upstairs in the Bel Air mansion as well as personalized for them and elsewhere, the couple had a recording studio. Outside, the amenities were equally chic, including a covered dining area at the back of the yard with pergola and chandelier overhead, where Adrian loved to have dinner parties. After this Bel Air mansion, Adrian and Israel would go on to purchase a new estate in Calabasas, California, only to flip and sell shortly after. In December 2020, it was reported that the Cheetah Girls star was selling her newly renovated home for $3.3 million, only 10 months after buying it. After the purchase, they quickly got to work with some interior updates. Records show Adrian bought the home in February 2020 for $3 million, and it was a traditional style villa in the star-studded neighborhood of the Oaks in Calabasas. The affluent area is full of other famous faces, such as Kourtney Kardashian, 
Travis Barker, and others over the years like Katie Holmes, Drake, and more. Adrian gave a peek into the French chateau style abode back in April 2020 while discussing the renovation plan. The landscape property spanned about half an acre, and inside, the mansion was 5,165 square feet with five beds and six baths throughout. Built in 2015, the home was complete with classic French doors, features like built-in shelves, as well as a gourmet kitchen. Hedges and manicured gardens graced the front of the two-level home, where the exterior had blue plantation shutters and a pair of front-facing balconies. There were gorgeous new hardwood floors throughout, as well as a room that Adrian planned to turn into a cozy library. Dark accents complemented the formal rooms in the mansion like a charcoal colored staircase and black walls in the living dining room. There were plenty of chandeliers throughout the main level and the family room had French doors, a fireplace and a cozy vibe. Of course, Adrienne moved her husband's special piano to the living room in this abode and his Grammy awards were displayed on the built-in shelves. Adrian transformed the kitchen here, adding white cabinetry and new appliances along with the marble island, huge walk-in pantry and a coffee bar. A staircase in the home was attached to an extra loft space which could be used as a home theater, gym, office or playroom. On the upper level of the Calabasas mansion, Adrian's master suite boasted its own private balcony as you might expect and a large soaking tub in the ensuite. In fact, all of the guest rooms here had ensuites and walk-in closets as well. Since Adrian loves outdoor entertaining so much, this backyard was a dream. Moving outside, the sprawling grounds had a pool which no doubt was the main attraction as it had a spa, waterfalls and even a water slide. The patio was sheltered under vaulted wood beams and an outdoor dining area also included a built-in barbecue. A new backup generator, gates and garage were all newly installed as well while Adrian lived here which completed the listing. So you may be wondering why Adrienne would so quickly sell a home she put so much work into renovating and was so excited about, but it seems the couple is off to New York. Even more recently, in March 2021, Adrienne vlogged her and Isaiah's house hunting adventures in the East Coast, looking at a handful of mansions and seeing which her subscribers liked best. Then on June 4th, 2021, Adrian gave the big reveal of the mansion in New York that they chose to be their forever home. And she says she's staying put this time, even though it's a world away from their former properties. On her YouTube channel, the real co-host revealed the home and went the classic route once again, choosing a traditional mansion with a grand stone exterior, more Paris-inspired touches and princess-worthy features. The grand entrance definitely makes a big impression with the black and white marble flooring and spiral staircase and Adrian loves this foyer so much she won't be renovating a thing here. The entryway also boasts double height ceilings, chandelier and large windows letting in a ton of light. Right next to here, there's a wood paneled office with green marble fireplace that reminded Adrian of the old library in Beauty and the Beast. Definitely Disney vibes. There's also a formal dining room with ornate moldings and some more Paris inspired touches, as well as a piano room for Isaiah that will be a show place for the couple's awards. The room that sold Adrian on the mansion is also one of my favorite spots in the house and it's definitely the great room. This amazing space has soaring wood beam ceilings, limestone walls, a double height fireplace and looks more like a fairy tale ballroom. While her mansion is definitely spectacular, she still wants to customize it and is getting help from an LA based design team to carry this out. This time with all the effort, Adrian and Isaiah are planning to stay put and she said, this will be officially for real, for real you guys, this is my forever home. Some areas that Adrian plans to renovate include the sprawling kitchen that's a bit like their former one in Bel Air and she wants something totally new so they will gut the entire space. The empty attic and massive basement are going to be made into spaces for the kids with bunk beds as well as a media room where Adrian can film her YouTube videos. Other features in the mansion include a workout room where they're turning half into a recording studio, a screening room, multiple bars, a games room and more. There's also a second kitchen that's great for easy entertaining as it's right next to the pool outside for quick access during parties. The New York abode has two main suites, one for Adrian and Israel and one that can be used as an in-law suite for her parents down the line. 
While the spacious backyard is already gorgeous, boasting a pool, a playground, and much more, Adrian wants to make more use of the almost two acre grounds and add more amenities to entertain guests and host gathering. Now that we've taken a look at three of Adrian Helton's homes, including her former Bel Air and Calabasas mansions and her new New York estate, what did you think? Did you like her West Coast or East Coast abodes more? I think they were all beautiful with similarities and we can get an idea that her taste is a bit classic, romantic, and elegant, but the New York mansion takes the cake. I love anything with a classic fairy tale vibe and that property definitely has it. That great room was to die for, not to mention all of the upscale amenities scattered throughout. If you guys had to choose, would you go for a newer, more modern build or something more traditional and historic? I would take the older one, more personality. Be sure to let me know down in the comments. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram, and I will see you all next time. Bye!